G'day, it's Doug back with another video on StreamYard. And here we are, we're already in StreamYard, recording in StreamYard. I'm also recording in Camtasia just to show you the uh, desktop of the interface with StreamYard because today we're talking about backgrounds and overlays. I'm going to show you how to up your game and not just have a, a, a plain channel where it's just me, my name tag there uh, on the screen but we're gonna we're gonna fab it up a bit first place we want to start is the backgrounds now when I'm full screen by myself you ain't gonna see nothing first things first we want to take myself off so we can look at the backgrounds first thing I'm gonna do is gonna go over the brand because this is where it's all gonna happen now under brands you can see we have a number of things I'm um, in my Doug Houston YT brand at the moment we have a brand color, which is indicated by the marker there. If I change my theme, it is reflected in different parts of the theme. We have the logo, which a logo always appears up in this corner, powered by StreamYard, or I could switch it out to my own sort of logo. Not really, <laughs> but let's turn that off. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the background behind me so if i take myself away what do we see this is my default background as you can see if we scroll down to the bottom here we've got a background we've got the default one that you get with Streamyard, which is this black one with a very subtle leaf motif we've got and then i've uploaded this plain one which is probably good to stick with something fairly plain it doesn't have any text because as we go into different positions on the screen you'll see different things happening here uh, we can also change it to something like this my create a breakfast one where I've got uh, just some basic branding going on but I'm gonna change it back to this one and bring myself back here I am back in the stream right now the next thing we want to do is make sure that we've got some overlays happening and an overlay is basically something that appears in front of anything that's going on any of the cameras any of the screen shares anything like that so we're going to look at the overlays right now and just going back to the backgrounds real quick backgrounds need to be uh, 1280 by 720 because that's the max resolution in StreamYard right now uh, max file size is 10 megabytes for those background scenes in the format of uh, the common formats like jpegs and pngs uh, the maximum file share size as I mentioned, is 10 megs for those things, and 3 megs for uh, GIFs or GIFs. Okay, going back to those overlays we're just talking about now. Now, overlay is what appears in the front. Now, StreamYard give you a default overlay as an example of what you can do. So you can see that we can put uh, stuff in different parts of the screen, but the overlay as a whole is the entire 1280 by 720p. Uh, so we have to design that in something like Photoshop, GIMP, whatever your art program of choice everything else here is transparent so that you can see the camera through which is me you're seeing me through this then we're seeing the uh, uh, live with StreamYard logo that they've put at the top and the StreamYard live show so we can do something like that or any combination thereof so let's look at some examples let's start with lower thirds uh, I can bring up like my social media lower third for example you can see it says Doug Houston YT it says even going over top of my uh, 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 branding uh, my name tag there let me just turn the name tag off for the time being so my lower third I can have a lower third that says something like that's my Facebook you can see that even where let me bring my hand up here you can see through there it's a, I've, I've done like a, a, tran, a semi transparent sort of look in uh, uh, GIMP or Photoshop, whatever you happen to be using. So it's mildly transparent, so you can actually see through some of that. The text isn't, but you can see that sort of blue color gradient. That is actually uh, uh, got some opacity to it. I've dialed down the opacity. It's not 100%. It's down at some other level. I might even have a gradient of opacity on that. So it might be a little bit uh, Let's see through this end and more see through as we get. See how you can see through more at this end than this end. So it gets darker 
and lighter as we go across. But that's all done in the art program. I'm bringing that in as a PNG because PNGs have hold the transparency and away we go. Another example, a trivia live stream last year uh, when uh, Avengers Endgame came out, I did a MCU trivia and then I had full screen questions that I used to, I brought, brought up. I was actually in a different software. I would bring it up full screen and just had like a, a, a motif or a branded background and then I could just bring up uh, the question and the uh, multiple choice answers over top of the motif background. In this case, I'm bringing it up. It's coming over top of me because I'm what's on the screen. But say I took myself off. Boom. We've got something going on there. Now, there's not a lot of drop shadow and stuff. I could have added some drop shadow and different things to that in the uh, program before I brought it into StreamYard just to give it a bit of a uh, lift off the background there. So let me bring myself in, turn that off. Uh, so you can get ideas of what you can do. Now, how do you bring things in? Let's bring in another uh, overlay that I've just designed for my Creator Breakfast show. So let's upload that right now. So I'll go into my streaming section and see if I can find my Creator Breakfast uh, lower third. I'm just going to bring the first. Now you can see that it's just loading up there on the screen. You can see right. Oh, there it is, popped in. And then I bring that up. And now I have automatically uh, a, a lower third. I think I did something hinky in GIMP there where I've got a bit of a circle thing going on there. I don't know what I did there. I'll probably fix that. This is probably one I'm not going to use because that uh, a lower third sort of. Uh, Transparent area is a little bit heavy, a little bit thick for my liking. But you can see I've got Creator Breakfast up here and I can probably bring something in down there. Now, if I'm going to go and use, say, the built-in banners, they're going to come out over top. So that's one thing. But you can see positioning is key. It's going over the, my face in the little logo there. That's probably something I'm not going not gonna to probably use on StreamYard per se. Okay, I'm going to turn that off. Actually, before I turn it off, I'm going to bring in my other overlay, which is one I, I sort of did second is a little better. While that's coming in, I'm just going to turn that off. So it's just me on the screen right now. And yet another overlay. This one's a little bit more uh, laid back and sophisticated. You can see now, create a breakfast up the uh, top here. And just a nice little, uh, nice little uh, bug of me uh, popping out of the screen. So that if I have any overlays or banners come up, so I bring up a banner. It's not cut, cutting off my bug because I know that the overlay is slightly offset to the left hand side here. And uh, that bug there in that corner is probably not going to get cut off by most things that I bring up. Now, if I'm going to add uh, multiple uh, people in the screen, we'll see what that looks like. First of all, I'm going to send myself an invite just to bring in a second camera. I'm going to copy that. You can hear the tone. It says, hey, somebody's joined. You can see that I've got the second camera in there. Can I click on that? And here I am. You can see now that I brought two people in, the overlay is still in place, which is great. And I can bring two people in. I can go into two people mode. And voila, I've now using my overlay and my background at the same time to make my scene look quite interesting and branded for my live stream. I've got my creator breakfast. I've got my guest. I've got me. I've got my, my bug there. I, I can even bring up and change my uh, different ba brandings. I can even add the ticker in. Even the ticker doesn't look too bad. It's sort of cutting across my bug a little bit there, but it's not too bad. So let me take the ticker off, take that off. So now I'm in two person mode. Now, if I went to say do a uh, screen share, let's add. It's a screenshot of the desktop here. You can see there uh, everything still uh, is over the top. The bug is still there relevant. The create a breakfast header is still there, but I can show something off on my screen. And the branding is still there. Everything looks quite good. So we're upping the quality and the the off of the stream by incorporating some interesting overlays, some that are they're not, not too overbearing. Like if I did a lot of... Uh, like in that first example where I had that lower third with a lot of color, it was actually cutting a lot of stuff off. It wasn't that transparent. If I add too much of that, it's going to look blocky and bulky. But if I keep it minimal like this one, I've just got the creator breakfast text. So I've just got my bug in the lower right hand side. Everything looks good. 
I just exited the other camera from the stream because I'm getting a little feedback in my ear. You might have picked that up in the, hopefully in the recording, not too much. But there we are, some overlay. So I've just um, gone to a different mode there. As you can see, uh, if you're looking at the layout screen there, you can see that I've just gone to the me on the camera with my screenshot minimized a little bit. So that's branding. Now, don't forget when you're in branding, your overlay and the background work together to give you some really good streams. So I can bring my little name tag back there to all that. So you can load in a quite a number of uh, uh, overlays or backgrounds. There is a limit, but the limit is quite generous. Let us see what overlays requires. Again, the uh, dimensions of the overlays is 1280 by 720 because you're basically creating the whole screen, bringing the overlay in and everything that you've placed will sit in the correct place automatically. Maximum file size 10 megabytes again for images, three megabytes for GIFs and 100 megabytes for videos. Now you can have five minute long intros. Intros is an interesting thing. What we can do is, is something like this. Say I start my stream. I'm gonna start here. We're gonna roll, say I hit go live now. I roll my intro. My intro takes over. You can hear my intro coming through my speakers as well. And as it comes back, come back to me. While that was still playing, I could have just made myself live and then it would have come back. I'll show you again. <laughs> the intro while that intro is getting ready I'm putting myself on live and then when the uh, video ends I automatically comes to me I'm live I've got everything in place and the stream begins so that intro can be up to five minutes long so that's the potential for a countdown intro for your live stream very popular in the live stream space particularly with gamers but you might want that as time for people to come in and settle in to, in the chat, get ready for your live stream. If you want to learn how to make one of those countdown uh, intros with uh, the clock that counts down from say three minutes to zero and then go live, uh, uh, you know, flick change to you. If you want to learn how to do that, let's we'll cover that in the next StreamYard video. So if you go down to chat, put hashtag countdown hashtag countdown and we will show you how to make a countdown clock a countdown stream clock intro for your stream yard video if i get enough takers that will be the very next stream yard tutorial for you guys out there in stream yard land awesome if you have any questions about backgrounds and overlays make sure you also put that in the comments below if you want to check out more StreamYard content from me, over here is the StreamYard playlist. And also, if you don't want to look at that, here's a video that YouTube thought you might like. It is from my collection. Well, this is Doug from Doug Hughes on YouTube, and I'll catch you later. Subscribe for more tech for content creation.